Hello everyone, welcome back to the Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. I know this video is coming after a long gap uh, and we will continue with the last series only. Last we have started with the Salesforce integration and we will continue with this. Uh, there I have created the one video that is where we have tested our standard APIs, the Salesforce APIs on the workbench and see the different methods how they works like uh, works like the get put post delete so how they works and now today or in the upcoming video we will see how we can use them in our apex classes and how the apex classes are used to connect with the external application like suppose now i want to connect my external application with the salesforce so for this i need something which connects or which connect my external application to the salesforce so here the apex classes will be the medium who will going to connect the external website url or the uh, something uh, you can call going to connect and perform the further functionality accordingly like suppose here uh, in the external website i have created the data and on this and on this whenever the record is created i want it call my salesforce and perform or get or read and write the data accordingly so here we will in this case we will going to create our web services apex classes which will going to connect uh, our salesforce and the external application so let's see on the screen the different uh, syntax which we will going to use and a flow of code so now let's move to the screen so here as you can see i have already created one class here and this class is making the get request to the external application so here we will discuss one by one all the syntax and what are the use of this syntax why they are used to make the call outside uh, outside how they are used to make the call outside the external application so here my external service is the workbench and here i have created my custom api which will going to hit the apex class or will going to call the apex class in the salesforce and read and write my data accordingly we will discuss here everything what is the meaning of the services this apex rest and how we can create the custom api so we'll discuss everything here now let's move back to the apex class and start from there so here in the apex class very first line as you can see a annotation is used that is at the rate rest resource so this annotation enables your apex class as a rest resource and now using similar annotation so there are total in salesforce six uh, rest annotations uh, one of them is the rest resource then we have uh, different methods annotation like http get http post put patch delete and head so here in this class we will only going to use two annotations one is the rest resource to make or to expose our apex class as a rest resource and the second is the http get to expose our method as a rest method so using this rest uh, resource now our class is exposed to the external application now this rest resource has a parameter that is the url mapping so using this parameter we are able to match external application url with the apex class so this will going to help us in mapping and in calling our apex classes or connecting our apex, apex classes to the external resource so uh, whenever we are using rest resource then our class needs to be globally defined and its method is also defined as global so here now i have created a method where at the method you you can see one more annotation is used that is at the rate http get so this method will going to help us to fetch the data from the salesforce for the external application so here on line number eight you can see i have declared a variable request uh, with the rest of rest request type so here rest request is a predefined apex class which is used to create or accept an http request and rest context is also a predefined apex class that consists of request and response so here now i can access the whole incoming request by using this request context variable of rest context class so now let's come back to the uh, custom api which we have created on the workbench and let's understand this so here services apex rest is used or it represent it is an, an apex rest service and here 
now as you can see this get test account so this is the value which will going to map with our apex class here so here in the url mapping i have written the same get test account so this will be going to match with this url so here this get test account is the custom api which append with the apex rest service so here you can write any name of your choice but it should be same in the url mapping so whenever the service is called at the external application then it can able to call the apex class with the, the same particular url mapping so here are next uh, as you can see i have added the record id here so this is the account record id from the salesforce now next step in our apex class is to get this account id so that i can able to fetch it or in, uh, make the sql query and fetch this or return this record account record so once the account record is written we can be able to access to into the external website so here uh, once i have able to access this account id now I, next i have make a sql query on the account where i have returned the fields id type uh, rating and the phone and the return the same account record so now let's move to the workbench and see the result how how it will going to work and how the apex class is going to code so here is the custom api and i have made the get request by selecting the method get and when i execute this it is it return me the record with the fields rating phone the fields which i have selected or added in the soql so now let's try to change this custom api name and execute this so as you can see it will going to give me the error because it did not find any such class with the url mapping of get test account 1 2 so it will work only if you, if it is able to match the url mapping uh, the value here in which is passed in the url mapping so this is the custom api which we have created and using the service apex rest we have called the our apex class in the salesforce so this is how our get method work for the external uh, services when we want to connect our apex class to the external services or the external app application so the things which we need to keep in mind while writing the apex class if we want to expose it as a rest resource first the annotation rest resource and the url mapping to which we want to map and then the it sh the class should be of global type and the method is also of global type and the annotation method uh, above this method we need to use the annotation of the type of call we want to make that is either the get put post or whatever the method we want to call here so this is how we use our apex classes to connect with the external applications and if you have any query or any doubt do let me know and in the next video we will discuss the next method that is the post method how we can use them to connect with the external application so see you soon in the next video till then take care good bye